We to my channel Tech Titan Reviews. We approach Apple's WWDC 2024 event. The excitement is palpable. Today, we're diving deep into the highly anticipated M4 Ultra Mac leaks and what we might expect at the WWDC launch event. Is the M4 Ultra Mac going to be revealed sooner than we thought? Let's explore the evidence suggesting an imminent launch and the broader implications for Apple's chip strategy. WDC 2024 and the M4 Ultra Mac. What to expect Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, is just around the corner and anticipation is building. Despite conflicting leaks, I believe there's a strong possibility we could see not just one but two M4 Ultra Macs unveiled. This prediction goes against Mark Gurman's leaks, which hint at a full release for the first M4 Ultra Mac. However, after delving into various details, I am increasingly convinced that we might witness the debut of the M4 Ultra Mac at WWDC next month. The M4 chip, a leap in performance, let's shift our focus to the M4 chip's prowess, particularly highlighted in the new iPad Pro. The M4 chip boasts significant improvements over its predecessor, indicating a promising leap in performance. Gear One's review of the M4 chip unveils remarkable advancements in memory bandwidth, latency, and an overall 8% IPC improvement, excluding Geekbench scores and clock speed boosts for performance and GPU calls. This suggests that the entire M4 chip family, especially the M4 Ultra, will witness substantial upgrades. And guess what? A fix its teardown of the 8GB M4 iPad Pro reveals a hidden gem. Two 6GB are AM modules totaling 12GB. This hints at the base M4 Ultra possibly sporting up to 256GB of RAM. The strategy behind Apple's chip decisions, but there's a deeper reason behind this decision. I suspect Apple wants to phase out the M3 chips as soon as possible. Why? There's likely a contractual or strategic imperative with TSMC, their chip manufacturer. It's in their mutual interest to phase out the M3 chip production line swiftly. The M3 chips were essentially a stopgap measure based on a custom N3B process node due to delays in the real 3 nanometer chip technology in N3 E, the future of the M4 Ultra chip. The M4 Ultra's development trajectory lends further credence to these speculations. An absence of the Ultra Fusion connector on the M3 Max chip die suggests Apple's long term planning to skip the M3 Ultra entirely. Leaks from TrendForce hint at WWDC 2024 updates for the Mac Studio with an Ultra chip likely based on TSMC's N3E process. But what about the current Mac Studio and Mac Pro's dismal sales performance? It's evident that the M3 Mac's MacBook Pro's superior performance is impacting demand for these high-end desktops. Apple can't afford to leave them languishing with outdated hardware for another year post WWDC beyond the desktop machines Let's speculate on what the M4 Ultra MacBook Pro could bring to the table. The integration of the M4 Ultra chip into the MacBook Pro lineup would likely result in a powerhouse machine with unparalleled performance. We can expect significant improvements in battery life, thanks to the chip's enhanced power efficiency. Additionally, the M4 Ultra MacBook Pro could feature a refined cooling system to handle the increased thermal demands of the new chip. Here's where my theory comes in. I anticipate Apple unveiling at least two desktop machines at WWDC armed with the M4 Ultra chip. Apple's ecosystem advantage cannot be overstated. The seamless integration between Mac OS, iOS, and iPad OS allows for a unified experience across devices. With the M4 Ultra chip powering the latest Macs and iPads, users can expect even greater synergy between their devices. In conclusion, the upcoming WWDC 2024 event holds great promise for Apple enthusiasts and tech aficionados. 
The potential unveiling of the M4 Ultra chip and its integration into new Mac Studio and Mac Pro models could mark a significant turning point in Apple's chip strategy. If my predictions prove accurate, we could witness a major shift in how Apple prioritizes its high-end machines, ensuring they consistently outperform their MacBook counterparts. This recalibration of priorities will likely set the stage for a new era of performance and innovation in Apple's product lineup. As always, only time will tell if these speculations align with reality. If you found this analysis intriguing, share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching, and until next time.